Yo, LeBron James cannot win for losing. Now it's your boy Colin Coward that's going at LeBron James taking his shots. Can y'all just give me a couple minutes so we can talk about this thing, please? Let's go. I respect this guy because he's able to pull off a show pretty much like by himself. I got a lot of respect for him because he don't really need a co-host. I know he had Joy Taylor and he'd be having somebody else kind of help him out. And he did a show before with someone, but I've watched him multiple times being able to pull off his situation by himself. So as a content creator, man, respect for Colin and his group. But let's check out this little um, statement he had on LeBron James and how he feel like LeBron James is going to quit on the Lakers. I got to talk to the boss. So this is what <clears throat> so this is what Colin Cowell had to say about LeBron James. He says, LeBron James bailed on his hometown twice. He's talking about Cleveland. He bailed on Pat Riley and his best friend, Dwayne Wade. You don't think he'll bail on the Lakers? Now, Colin, first of all, I got to talk to the bosses. Did you bail out on ESPN? Or did they fire you? Or did you have the option to stay and you just chose not to take less money? Because right now, you are talking so incomplete. And I'm, you know... People say I'm a LeBron James lover. I'm always taking up for LeBron, but I just be like, yo, if you're going to state facts, state complete facts. Not one time has LeBron James ever demanded a trade from any team he's ever played with. He's played out his contracts in Cleveland both times, in Miami, and he's playing out his contract now in Los Angeles. You brought up Pat Riley and Dwayne Wade. Did Dwayne Wade not quit on Miami? Did he decide not to take less money and, and decided to go to Chicago and, and Cleveland? Did that not happen? Pat Riley. Did Pat Riley not quit on the Knicks by facts? By way of facts? Going to Miami, like, don't talk to me about quitting. You know what I'm saying? And, and Dan Gilbert was more than happy to bring LeBron back. He brought him the only championship. The first championship in Cleveland in over 50 years. Like, cut it out, Kyle. Cut it out. LeBron is building a legacy and is definitely going to make the best moves for that for that legacy in that situation. And if the Lakers don't have nothing promising for him in the next couple of years, he will have to really be a fool to stay other than the, the other things that's going on around him, other, you know, like family and all that. But you can't knock LeBron James even if he do decide to leave L.A. He's not quitting on them. They were irrelevant until he came. LeBron bought a championship back to L.A. Like, what are you talking about? So the same thing you trying to take shots at LeBron James for, I really can look at your career and ask you, did you quit on ESPN? It's how you wind up on Fox. Or did they just fire you because you wasn't good enough? Like, talk to me. Because I got to talk to the bosses about all this LBJ hate. You know, I ain't for it. But what y'all think, man? Do y'all think Colin Coward was right or wrong? Y'all let me know. This is the best of seven. I'm Seven Mitchell, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Be sure to check out the rest of this episode and more at the best of seven on all your favorite listening platforms.